Hi guys, my name is Dora and in today's video I'm going to be showing you what my skin has been loving lately and what my skin has definitely not. So first I have to tell you about my dehydrated skin. I have dehydrated skin that is dry in the winter months and it's kind of like semi-dry to normal in the summer months and it's very prone to hyperpigmentation and it's acne prone. So I haven't had a lot of terrible acne since the beginning of my skincare journey but I do have a lot of active breakouts here and there and they leave me with painful pimples and a lot of hyperpigmentation spots. I do notice however that a lot of my skincare problems come from damage to my skin barrier and it's usually due to over exfoliation which I have a whole video about it if you guys want to check it out. So I want this video to be short and sweet so let's just get right into it. So first, let's talk about the dislikes. I've always been a huge fan of the Ordinary products and they're amazing entry-level products for whoever wants to get started into skincare. But I have a few bones to pick with some of these products. For example, the Neosinamide from the Ordinary. I find that it always left me with like a very sticky layer and it was great for my skin because Neosinamide is great for the skin. But that sticky layer, I just couldn't get past it and now I have realized that niacinamide is an ingredient that comes in a lot of moisturizers and a lot of toners and a lot of essences so it's not something that you really like need to have as a single serum because it comes packaged perfectly in a lot of other products for example one of my favorite sunscreens is the Elta MD UV Clear. This one is packed with niacinamide and it's great for sunscreen protection while still giving your skin some of those products that are really good for it. And another great moisturizer that is packed with niacinamide is the Palo's Choice one and they're now offered in Sephora which is amazing for anyone who's in Canada because you don't have to wait for the delivery from the States. But I still buy mine from the website because they offer amazing discounts and you gotta save that back. So for those of you who don't know, niacinamide is a form of vitamin B3 and according to Dr. Kikam, it says that it boosts collagen, improving texture, fine lines and wrinkles and it also helps brighten the hyperpigmentation spots in your skin. So it's an ingredient that I must have in a lot of my skincare products. Another product from The Ordinary that I want to talk about is the Salicylic Acid 2%. Again, a great product if you are looking to get started into acid but I find that there's so many great options out there that work so much better that you should give a try if you are trying to get rid of blackheads, if you have a lot of acne, if your skin is oily, or if you're just trying to minimize pores. Like for example, the Paula's Choice BHA. It is a cult favorite for a reason. It just feels so well when applied to the skin. It absorbs perfectly and they have different types. So you can have the toner, you can have the cream, you can have an essence and their formulation just absorbs right into your skin. Now, if you're looking for a beautiful package, and I know package is not everything, it's more about formulation than anything else, but you should try the BHA toner from Real Recipe. It's a beautiful, beautiful package, and I used it for a while, and I found that the results were very similar to those of Phyla's Choice, and it just feels very luxurious when you put it in, which is something that I cannot complain about. <laughs> Moving on, we have the third product of our video, and that is the Innisfree Twinkie Serum. I bought this baby because I was so excited to try it out. It was so affordable and it's a great option if you are trying to get something that's affordable and green tea has shown to work really well with your skin. But for me, I found that it just feels extremely tacky and it doesn't moisturize at all. I found my skin being dry just at the end of the day, every single winter day. So at the end of the day, it was just like a waste of money for me. Sorry, Innisfree. Innisfree has great products, but like this one in it, it just, it just wasn't for me. But if what you're looking for is hydration, I got you, because now we're gonna move on to my favorite products. And two of them are all about hydration. And those are the Haru Haru Toner and the Snail 96 Essence. This one is a cult favorite for a reason, and I'm gonna talk to you about why I love it so much. But first, let's talk about Haru Haru. Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Hyaluronic Toner is a great product with hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is another one of those products that you don't really need a single like serum for it because it's packed in a lot of essences and a lot of moisturizers. Cough, cough ordinary so if you use hyaluronic acid on a single serum i mean all props to you but if you're looking to minimize steps on your skincare routine this is something that you can definitely do because it's gonna be in a lot of other essences toners and moisturizers like i mentioned before so let's talk about this toner and is a 
first essence product, which means that it's a very light toner. So it's packed with hyaluronic acid, obviously, and also a lot of really good ingredients. I found this baby goes perfectly with my skin. It absorbs right away and it leaves my skin feeling really, really hydrated. Not only does it have hyaluronic acid, beta glucan and root extract ginseng, which are great for your skin, but it also is packed with a lot of antioxidants and probiotics, which are gonna help your skin look very beautiful. The second product is the Snail 96. I bet that you have heard about this product because it's literally everywhere nowadays. I've been using it for a while now, and I have to say, I love it. Once you stop thinking about the fact that it's made out of snails, because believe me, I had to, I had to work on that for a little bit. <laughs> um, you can use this. I use it right after my toner, and it is amazing. It is. It does feel sticky when you first put it in, but it absorbs into your skin really quick, and it leaves you feeling fine. Like you don't feel sticky at all. You don't feel tacky as much as the other products that I've mentioned before. And I found that my skin feels extra hydrated and like just super bouncy every time that I've used this product. So last but not least, I have to tell you about this Glow Recipe product. Before I started my skin treatments with a dermatologist, I was using this product non-stop. And it's the AHA Overnight Mask. And I've gotta tell you that this one is a must if your thing is AHA. And if you have dry skin and you're looking for that brightness and getting rid of breakouts, AHA is your thing. This product contains soothing antioxidants like bionic root and a skin quenching hyaluronic acid. There's our product again. And an anti-inflammatory watermelon extract. I used to use this bad boy about three to four times a week because my skin was absolutely loving it. But remember that if you're starting an acid or a chemical exfoliant, you have to start with once a week and then see how your skin reacts to it before you move to more times a week. This product was amazing. I used to use my moisturizer and then I will add this product on top of it and then go to bed and the next day my skin will be bright. Obviously you can have instant results with products, but I'm telling you these products, after I used it for a few weeks, my skin was absolutely loving it. And even now that I am not supposed to use it with my treatment, I still sneak it in once in a while because it just makes me feel so much better. Anyways guys, like I mentioned before, if you're starting in skincare, remember to start slow and easy. Your most important part that you need to protect is your skin barrier. I don't care if your main concern is acne, big pores, small pores, blackheads, like dry skin, I don't care. The only thing that you should be worried about is your skincare barrier right now because your skincare barrier is what's gonna help you get rid of all of that other stuff. And even though that I am and everyone else out there is recommending you all of these products that are gonna make your skin go clear and it's just amazing products, remember that all you need is a good moisturizer, face wash, and sunscreen. Remember to use SPF every single day, even if it's cloudy and even if it's winter. If you're wondering, I use the CeraVe cleanser and I use the Clarins moisturizer that I've been using for about four years it's amazing i highly recommend it other than that you can start introducing your acids little by little maybe once a week and see how your skin reacts and yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments if you have any questions and i see you all in the next one bye